time for some more citizen science. And what I'm gonna do now is use a variety of containers to put both a target and distractors in. And then I'm gonna leave them to sit for about a month and then I'm gonna work my dog on them and see if she can detect the target inside the jars or the containers, but obviously not respond on the distractors. And the idea here is to demonstrate the different types of containers that people use to store their training aids in and how potentially molecules can escape and contaminate the outside areas around it, whether you keep them in some sort of other container, an ammunition can, a Ziploc bag, etc. Handle it with your hands and without gloves. The idea is to give you an idea that you really need to think about the containers you use to store your training aids because potentially the containers are leaking the odor and therefore contaminating your areas. So I've got some basic food jars. All I've done is taken the uh, food jars um, that you buy in a store. These are touted as dog proof scent bags. So um, I'm gonna use them as well. Pill bottles, mason jars, and then food containers. All these have been prepared the same way. They've all been washed in hot soapy water, then put through a dishwasher with soap, and then put through a dishwasher with just clean water on sanitation wash and heat dry. Once they're prepared, they will all be stored separately in Ziploc bags. They're then gonna be stored in my storage area, but away from any other target odors um, at all. So the distractors, there's gonna be three distractors. One is gonna be blank, and then two containing a distractor odor, and then one containing target. And in this case, I'm gonna use a kerosene. So I'm only gonna use five drops of kerosene in each uh, container, or each container that's hot. So it's a very small amount, but hopefully after a month, we'll get some sort of results as to whether these individual containers can hold that scent without any leakage, or that particular types of containers are leaking the odor and therefore it's something that really you shouldn't use for storing your training aids. So I've prepared the distractors and what I've done actually is I've added zip locks into uh, the containers as well. I already know the answer for that one but I am going to have zip locks but in that case I'm going to have the zip locks inside mason jars so they'll all be within their own individual mason jar when they're being stored. So now what I'm going to do is put all the distractors out the way and then I'm going to prepare the containers with the kerosene so that there's no opportunity for any kerosene to get into contact with any of these containers that have already um, been charged up either as a blank, uh, with spices or with coffee.